What's up guys and welcome to another Monday video and today I want to talk about the differences between a civilian relationship and a military relationship. So to start off, if you haven't seen my first Q&A video, I mentioned that I wasn't single anymore. I am dating somebody in the military, specifically the Air Force Academy. Yes, the Air Force Academy. So for starters, the difference between a civilian relationship and a military relationship is pretty obvious. Yes, dating somebody in the military is not for anybody. It really isn't. It sucks. If you are able to withstand obstacles, long distance relationships, sexual frustrations and all that stuff, if you can, if you can manage, great. But there aren't some people that they think they can, but as they go through it, they fail. And that's where affairs happen. And sleeping around. And the civilian relationship is like any other relationship. I don't have to go into detail. You've got flexibility. Dating somebody in the military, you don't have flexibility. You have to follow with your partner with those plans, whether them being deployed for a very long time or not being there all the time. Long distance sucks. I was watching a video today about this guy talking about military love. He was very frustrated that women Women in the civilian side that were complaining about the relationship, whether it was that their partner didn't text them back, they were out too late, they're very distant. He is saying, although that's the civilian side, in the military side, if you've got strong women, they're not complaining. Oh my god, my partner hasn't texted me back or hasn't called me back. Hello? Do you not hear yourself? Honestly, this girl over here that's dating a military person, she knows she won't hear her husband or boyfriend or whatever for a very long time. He's in the military. That's what's gonna happen. Another thing that he mentioned, there are women who complain about how their boyfriend slash husband or whatever is gone for like a week or so. While you've got the women dating somebody in the military, her husband or boyfriend is gone for several months and she hasn't seen him. So she has a valid excuse of complaining. What I guess I'm trying to say is that their relationships are flexible. Military relationships are not. Military relationships are in more of a risk of your partner getting injured or dying during battle. But I'm not saying that it's bad or good in either way. It's really on your personal preference. If you think you can fle you're flexible enough to go for either one, you won't have any trouble. By all means, go ahead, do it. No one's telling you what to do. You do you. I do me. We do each other. No, I'm kidding. Personally, me, this is my first time dating somebody in the military. It's really new, and I know I'm gonna stick with it. I know what I'm walking into. If you go into a military relationship, you know what you're walking into. But anyways, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, no one does, so it doesn't give a shit. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Monday, and I will see your beautiful faces next time. Bye. Yeah, we